Alright you guys, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be the last of the round 3 matchups, last of the Sweet 16, uh, before those top 8 uh, videos start getting released, which is great. Uh, if you know, we've already done the top 8, we just haven't done the top 4 yet. Uh, our time kind of ran short the weekend that we were trying to do the top 8. Um, so we decided to save that probably into the, the next time Grady and I can see each other is uh, probably around Thanksgiving. So uh, we'll get the top eight videos uh, posted and everything uh, shortly, and then uh, we'll finish the top four then. So, uh, anyways, back to this game. This, like I said, the last of the round, uh, round of 16. Uh, moving on to the final eight. This is between Palkia, Dialga, and Kingdra. Um, we, I mean, we all knew Pocket Diago was kind of a, uh, a weird sort of joke deck, um, but hey, it won to, it's, you know, it's going to at least finish positive, right? It'll at least finish with a winning record, uh, which is not something a lot of decks can say in this tournament. So, um, we were kind of surprised to see it in this position. Uh, admittedly, we knew that it was going to be good. We just didn't know how long, it, like how good it was going to be. Um, but uh, if you notice the timestamp, we're not going to have another three-hour marathon game like we did the first game. Uh, thankfully enough, the only Palka Diaga game that went long was that first round. We didn't have to play a billion and a half Palka Diaga games. So, Green and I were kind of secretly hoping that Kingdra would just slaughter this so that we wouldn't have to play a best two out of three with Kingdra because, you know, that probably would have happened. So, uh, I don't know if it would have happened, but that probably would have at least guaranteed one long game. You know. So, um, uh, moving on here with the game, I think the way that um, I approached this game might have been a little wrong. I think, um, I think I, like, what you find out what happens, like, I think I go for the Aerodactyl strategy here, which is something that I, that I think it was correct, but. Um, I, I tried to go I tried to go aerodactyl instead of um, instead of just playing the game that I was supposed to you know just like playing this big setup game ow fuck Finn ow sorry my cat's like sitting on my knee and I moved it and he was like didn't like that so he scratched me like not like scratch but like dug his claws in so um anyways uh, horrible starter uh, also. I would say I got a, I had a, I got off to a really really bad start uh, with this game because of that judge and starting just low and cold Bali on. Um, I remember mul uh, taking my optional mulligan uh, just because I had a really bad starting hand. But looks like that card's an energy, a windstorm, and looks like something else. So um, not looking too great. Might see another uh, might see another card tower from my discard pile here pretty soon. <laughs> um, I mean, I played a copycat for, what, like, four? Uh, and I attached to the uh, Balsoy, which kind of signals, like, me thinking I'm going to get knocked out. And uh, I don't, it will be a Skyla, actually. So we're going to Skyla for probably uh, Professor Oak and just say, look, if you knock me out, I will, uh, I will easily just take my cards here. Or if you're, yeah, if you come out of the Spirit Tomb. So yeah, it will be the Oak. Oh, excuse me. In anticipation for him retreating. Honestly, Gray doesn't have to retreat here. He might just... Oh, he will take the retreat, though. I think he's just going to retreat and try to start setting up knockouts. Start just trying to go way faster than me, at least. Um, so, one one would have argued that staying in the um, Spirit Tomb and just keep attacking the Spirit Tomb might have been a better option, necessarily. But we shall see. Uh, just because he knows that my oak is the only card I have to draw. But also knowing that I am just super not set up. Um, and him just trying to be really, really aggressive with it, which I don't mind. So We'll see where this leads. Um, the thing that, uh, when you remember the Palky Dial game that lasted forever against uh, Garchomp, the reason that it had such an advantage was because Garchomp takes longer to set up during the mid-game. Um, and can't one-shot Palka Diaga, whereas Kingdra is very opposite, where it is taking one-shots um, and is uh, being very aggressive with it and not necessarily needing a lot of setup. So, 
Um, Grady definitely playing this right. He's going to go ahead and try bullet and a hex. And here's where I go, all right, I'm just going to draw everything in my deck now. And there's me grabbing the Mysterious Fossil saying I think I need to Porygon 2 and uh, I think I need to go Porygon 2 and Aerodactyl. I think this is kind of what I was trying to go for. We'll see here. Going to be another attachment of the active. There's the Mysterious Fossil and a Hex and an Oak right back. The uh, the Claydol coming down at least keeps it alive for one extra turn. Uh, the Tribal it was going to finish it off. So I'll take the one extra turn. If I can evolve the uh, Bronzong too, I don't. But it is just going to be a pass. Um... Or quick guard. I, you know, I could have used quick guard there, but I highly doubt it. So, uh, power pad to give us some consistency. This game is already looking very poorly on my side in terms of uh, setup and board state. Uh, Greedy just gets if he gets one more Kingdra out, it's going to be rough. But there's another tri bullet, and me just being like, all right, this tri bullet's really rough to deal with. Like, what do you do here? Um, teammates is going to help a little bit. It might go for the. Uh, for at least the Porygon combo, it might literally just go for Porygon, Porygon 2. Or at least a part of that. If I already have the other part in my head. Oh, excuse me. I got a lot when I do this. Okay. Plus, I'm leaning back in my chair because I'm letting my cat perch. And uh, that makes me yawn when I lean back. Also, I've had a long day. So, there's that. But like I said, yep, there's the teammates, the Porygon parts, and then an oak. Another bronze on coming down. I kind of need that metal links to be coming in. I need to accelerate somehow. It's just so very important. The metal links is way more important than having the heatran. You can also build this deck kind of with like Zoroark instead of the heatran, which I think is actually a little bit better. But I don't know. I think there's more counters to Zoroark. Um, but Zoroark does give you a little bit more fluidity with the deck, especially since a lot of stuff has fruit. Uh, does not have a lower treat cost. But yep, there is the Porygon Z, so we are going uh, we are going to try for some cute combo with that Porygon Z. Here's a Legend Box, just hoping I hit it, but there's no way I hit it. It's a 100 card deck. You only hit that with the Mallow and Oracle. It's one of the few decks that plays both Mallow and Oracle, just for that extra consistency on Legend Box. So I'm going to bench the Mysterious Fossil and remove it just so I can Ooxie here. Trying to find a way I can uh, Porygon 2 and remove all of his, and you know, and, and him or something like that. So, there's a goop. Nope, we are just going to goop for 60. Um, oof. Not great. Um, obviously, the goop is going to be helpful. Looks like we just got a scoop up uh, uh, Porygon. Whatever that card second from the left is, I don't even know what that is. It doesn't look like a lot of playable cards, and the Goop is going to make sure that he can't uh, clay it all. I think he's just trying to determine, okay, do I attack with Tri-Bullet and take the Botor, or do I kill this uh, Cobalion? And he will just keep the Cobalion in the active. Looks like it will be taking at least a knockout here, so that's cool. Um, I got the Porygon Z. I might go for that play. Um... Oh no, Grady actually says, JK, can I take that back? I let him, because I'm a nice guy. Um, but yeah, not taking the knock out there means that he doesn't get one shot. Uh, means I need to hit the muscle band. So Dowsing Machine, going to probably go for some sort of shuffle supporter, so I can go for the Porygon Z play now. Or if I have the muscle band in there. I didn't see what that grabbed me, but... Focus Sash is actually going to be the choice. And there's the Porygon Z. And uh, an Aerodactyl so he can't evolve. And there's going to be a straight draw. So, um, exactly what I needed to do. But if you notice, Grady is holding onto that Lapras. So that Lapras is most likely going to just going to go for a, uh, a Hex if he's got it. He's looking, 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 looking. Or it might be for the Skylar for the Goop. Oh, there's the Hex. Okay. So really unfortunate though that the the one time that I tried to make the play with the with the Porygon Z Aerodactyl combo, he hits Hex and he's got Breeder in his hand or Rare Candy, sorry. Like he was just already ready to go with the Evolve, and now this just kind of puts me in a rough position because he's taking a knockout on 
three Pokemon, leaving me with just nothing on my side of the field. So I think the Aerodactyl was a was a good play if I had some sort of shuffle, but I didn't have that to couple with. I just figured uh, Porygon, Porygon Z, Aerodactyl would be good enough. And so Grady still decides to not knock out my active and says, look, I'm going to try to find a Windstorm next turn. I have this scoop up. I can scoop up the Lapras. And look at that, just a 60 damage back. So now Grady's just going to snowball this game out of control. Um, there really isn't a way for me to come back on this game at this point. So I bet you the scoop up will either go for a uh, Windstorm, like a Skylight for Windstorm or a Skylight for Goop. It'll be one of the two. Oh, excuse me. Or Skylight for... Um, Versus Seeker. To grab that, uh, to grab the hex back. It'd be one of the two things. It'd be one, some of that stuff. So Grady went and grabbed two cards somehow. I think he meant to grab a Mallow, but, uh, didn't actually play it. <laughs> which is, which is just a silly thing. But there is that windstorm. That windstorm was probably grabbed from the Mallow. Um, windstorm went up the BTS, and then there's that versus seeker for the hex. And it will just be he's trying to figure out what he wants to knock out. I would say, yep, those are the three. I would say like he can always just he can leave the Aerodactyl on the field. It's hurting me more than it's hurting him at this point, just because he had that one turn of goop. So this might be a Psychic Restore for the Aerodactyl. Um, in that scenario, I'm trying to force him to take the knockout on the Aerodactyl so I can start evolving some stuff up. That might just be what it is. Very, very, very intelligent uh, um, try bulleting from Grady here. Kind of knocking out what he wants to knock out. But we're going to do the 20 and no Psychic Restore. Um, playing the Porygon, like, yeah, I need to get the Porygon 2 back out, but at the same time... Um, it is putting another knockout on his side of the field. Um, if you don't play the Porygon down, um, what, what he has to do then is either knock out the active or be forced to try bullet the Aerodactyl. And I didn't realize that on the day of. I really should have seen something like that. Force him to knock out the Aerodactyl. I just kind of was assuming he was going to knock it out, but obviously he just didn't because he knew better. So the Porygon, you know, saving the rescue stretcher and just kind of hoping for the long game. Um, the turn I go into, uh, uh, the turn I go into, uh, what's its face? Um, the Palkia Dialga uh, hitting a trump card on that same turn. That's just kind of was, like, should have been the long play here. Uh, the Hand of Mine's not too bad. I do have the one and only Evo Soda. That's going to get around the Aerodactyl. It's the only thing that can get around the Aerodactyl. Energy removal, rescue energy, those are just going to do nothing. So at least I have a draw supporter, but what am I going to try to draw into at this point? Um, so yeah, putting that uh, Porygon down definitely cost me a little bit. Here's an energy removal, uh, followed by probably just a Pont. Don't see what my top deck was, but it obviously just wasn't a playable card. Um, at this point, he's got game if he can find a way to... Uh, deal 10 damage to the Porygon Z on the bench and just take a double knockout um, so if I, I need to find a max potion or a scoop up or something to keep myself alive for at least one turn uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be finding that anytime soon though just because I would have slammed it down already so let's see actually I decided to change my Pokedex card let's see what I decided to get into there Looks like a celebrate a shaman just to yeah see at this point I don't realize that he can take this knockout so um, I think Grady's got game in hand and he's just waiting to play it um, either with the with the prime like he could get it with the prime or the uh, uh, or Lysander win some game here prime and or Lysander win some game just because he can bring up the Porygon Z deal enough damage with tri bullet. Um, Grady using Battle Compressor on just random cards he doesn't need. This game is already out of control. This game is already won by Grady, like I said. Um, even if he doesn't hit it this turn, he'll most likely hit it next turn. Um, looking for some stuff here. I think I saw a junk arm in that hand of his, so he's going to be looking through his discard. What can I junk arm for game? What can I guarantee myself to win this turn instead of having Alex try to weasel his way out with a max potion? So, yep, there's a computer search. That's going to be for a Lysander. 
and there's all three prizes there. So that's game. Uh, Kendra moves on to the next round, and Pocket Dialga makes its miracle run end. Uh, like I said, I think I kind of misplayed out with the Aerodactyl, but at the same time, how do I know that he's going to goop and evolve literally everything right back up? I think the better play would have been to wait on the Aerodactyl until I had an end in my hand. But, you know, it is what it is. Kendra moves on, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys had a good day, and we'll see you next time.